everyone and welcome back to my channel Be Yourself. This is Dr. Adnish Sharma and today I'm going to deal with the Western blotting. For the Hindi lecture on the Western blotting, click on the link given in the uh, comment box. So let's start with the Western blotting. Western blotting is also known as a uh, protein immunoblot because in this process we use immunoglobulin for the identification of our protein or for the detection of our protein. What does actually the western blotting do? It is actually uh, specific to identify or uh, extract the particular uh, protein of interest. Whether it also detect apart from this, it also detect the increase in the concentration of that particular protein, conformational change of the protein and it's binding with any of the ligands. So this is all about the western blotting, what it actually do. Now how we can perform the western blotting and from where we can isolate the protein. First thing is that uh, first we disrupt our cell membrane to extract the proteins and then we transfer the transfer this ex uh, disrupted cell membrane in our cuvet and then we will centrifuge it. After the centrifugation, we will get our uh, cell debris deposited at the base of the centrifugation tube, and the clear lies that we will take. Uh, we will have uh, for this cell debris, and now from there we will isolate the protein. So, uh, depending on the material which uh, we are using, we can get three types of lysate. One is the whole cell lysate when we are using whole cell to isolate the protein. Second is the nuclearize it when we will use only the nucleus to isolate the or we to isolate the protein or we can say when we want only the nuclear protein for our study. Next is the cytoplasmic lyse it when we will isolate only the uh, protein from the cytoplasm and exclude all the uh, nucleus from the cell then it is known as cytoplasmic lysate. Now after centrifugations of the cell debris we will have a clear uh, lysate and from there we will pipette it out with the help of pipette and transfer it to the STS base. STS base is the sodium dodecyl sulfate base polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Uh, in this we will first transfer the proteins or the lysate of, uh, or containing the protein on this well having the STS space. So in STS space what we actually do? In STS space we isolate the protein on the basis of their molecular masses. So what actually happen in the STS space? In STS space uh, it, it is actually the polymer having the very fine uh, linkages in between its molecules. So it provides a very mesh like structure through which the protein has to cross. So the protein which having the uh, more molecular mass will feel difficulty to uh, to cross this polymer's uh, holes and see, uh, since it will travel less distance while the protein molecules having the lesser mass we can easily cross or can penetrate this polymers and can travel the, the more distance. So these are the bands which we can uh, uh, have in our STS space after running through the it's, uh, through current. So uh, this band can arrange itself according to their mass. So we can say that this uh, molecular mass uh, protein bands will have the more mass as compared to the this uh, band of the protein because it has traveled less across the gel. This first line is all about the ladder one which uh, is used as the reference point to compare the molecular weight of the protein and because its uh, molecular weight is already known. Or we can see that the, we can use this as a reference one to find out the molecular weight of this particular bands. Now, then what we do, we have to isolate only those protein which we are, which is our protein of interest. So to do that, what we do, we will first transfer it to uh, this band of proteins on a centrocellular membrane. So we will then put a natrocellular membrane over the SDS base or this gel. Then we will again apply electricity across this and this time uh, negative toward the gel and positive toward the natrocellular membrane. So because of this charge difference electro and uh, electropotential, the protein band will be transferred over the natrocellular membrane. Now what we will do then, we will then treat it with the uh, 
immunoglobulin uh, which is specific for that protein. Then we will wash out the extra of the immunoglobulin so that the only micro, uh, immunoglobulin which is specific for the protein of interest will be remain there. After that, uh, that this immunoglobulin is known as primary immunoglobulin. After that, we will again expose it with uh, another immunoglobulin uh, or the tag immunoglobulin. We can tag this immunoglobulin with either any fluorescent compound or any chromogenic compound. This uh, blue ball indicating this, the tag molecules, it can be either flu uh, any fluorescent compound or any chromogenic compound. And this immunoglobulin is known as secondary immunoglobulin, which has the tendency to bind with the epsi region of the primary immunoglobulin. Mm -hmm. Now, this uh, secondary immunoglobulin is used to visualize that particular band. Now again we will wash out the extra of the immunoglobulin, uh, secondary immunoglobulin, so only the immunoglobulin which is bound with that of the primary immunoglobulin which is specific for that of the protein, protein of interest pan, we will get that. Now after that what will happen? The uh, protein of interest which you got tagged or get uh, bonded with the immunoglobulin will uh, so color compound if that, uh, will, uh, if that uh, secondary immunoglobulin is uh, tag with any chromosome and if uh, if we will tag it with any fluorescent compound then we will get the fluorescence of that particular protein band and from that we can isolate that particular protein of interest from here this is how a western blotting works so in next uh, video i will discuss about the southern blotting and northern blotting which is almost similar to this uh, actually i prepared this video because many of the students are requested to uh, prepare some techniques for videos over the technique. So I already have discussed FAB, this time Western blotting and in my upcoming videos you will get the Northern and uh, Western blot, uh, sorry, Southern blotting and also I will discuss about the mass electroscope, uh, spectroscopy, IR and NMR. So don't forget to subscribe and share my channel be yourself. Till then goodbye and have a nice day and for the Hindi videos don't forget to click on the link in the description box.